Welcome back everybody to a brand new Pokemon Go video. Today we've got an exciting episode in store for you guys. But before we get into that, I just want to remind you guys that I do have limited edition merch out right now. I don't do merch often on my channel, so if you definitely want to pick up some new swag, I would suggest going into the link down in the description and checking it out. For those of you following me on Twitter would have already seen it, but uh, for those who haven't, it is essentially this, but with a gold trim and uh, gold foil as well, so that's really cool. And that's limited edition print, and after I think the nine days that it's got left on the campaign, you won't be able to get it anywhere else again so i highly suggest doing that and for people that do pick it up you also go into the running to win some uh, pokey coins yeah that's right we're giving away i think 10 50 vouchers so if you pick up a shirt or a hoodie you're into the draw to win the 50 itunes or google play gift cards to you know go ahead and buy whatever you want you don't have to buy pokey coins but you know you Considering we're doing Pokemon Go here, it makes sense. <laughs> also, if you do pick it up by the end of this week, you get to take advantage of the $2 worldwide shipping that's going on right now. So if you want to pick up some limited edition Lachlan merch and of course go into the running at the same time to win some Poke Coins, I highly suggest hitting up that link in the description down below to take you straight to the campaign. You can pick yourself up an awesome t-shirt or hoodie. But enough about that, let's get into today's episode, shall we? Alright guys, what is going on? As it currently sits in Pokemon Go right now, you can currently capture the first generation of Pokemon, the Kanto Pokedex. So assuming that you went to each of the four regions to catch, you know, the region-exclusive Pokemon, you still would not be able to catch them all at this state. You would still only have 145 out of the 151 Pokemon in the first generation. Six Pokemon right now, no one on this world has caught yet, that we know of. And those six Pokemon? Well, it's pretty obvious, right? You got your Legendaries, which are speculated for a Raid-type release that you would have seen in the trailer. So that, of course, is your Mewtwo, your Mew, Articuno, Zapdos, Moltres. That's five Pokemon. What's this other special Pokemon that no one's seen or caught yet? It's the title of the video, you already know. That is your boy, Ditto. Now, I know there's all that background theory of how Ditto is a failed Mewtwo and uh, all that stuff, which we will get into uh, in this video for sure. But it isn't technically any type of legendary Pokemon, not even pseudo-legendary like Dragonite. And he is just straight up not found yet. So recently at Comic-Con San Diego, they had a big panel with the CEO of Niantic. That's the developer, of course, for Pokemon Go. So in this panel of press conference, uh, it was confirmed that there are other Easter eggs within the game right now that haven't been found. Similar type of Easter eggs to the one with the Eevee and how you can change and alter its name to affect what actually comes out of it when you evolve it. Which when you think about it, that Easter egg in itself was very removed. It took a couple days for people to even find it. And if you think about it, like who even knew to try that? But with each day ticking and still no one finding out ditto it's starting to you know build up this sort of theory that there is an easter egg to try to unlock ditto and so on the subreddit for pokemon go a ditto easter egg thread has recently been created with a couple theories on how we can try to unlock this thing so essentially i'm going to be trying to deconstruct a lot of the theories here on this subreddit and try to activate you guys to go and pursue this easter egg itself i've spent like two hours on it today trying to like crack the code and there's a lot of interesting things to get across here and there might be other easter eggs that aren't ditto that we might find along the way here like for example there was this weird easter egg that came up i think about a day ago and uh, it's actually pretty simple to perform and it's called right now we don't know if it has any ties to any other easter eggs but it's essentially called the uh the missing no easter egg because it looks kind of weird and glitchy so to do this all you do is you go to an egg you click it right there and uh it only works on iphone as far as i'm aware but you just double click to bring up the screen and as you can see there it's hard to hold it in the middle of the screen but you get all these weird upside down sideways characters numbers all that jazz and as far as I'm concerned, this hasn't actually been decrypted as anything just yet. Uh, it may mean something, it may mean some instructions, no one really knows. It's just being played off right now as the missing no easter egg because it is just a bunch of glitchy text and whatnot. So either way, I'm going to link the subreddit down below for you guys to check out and of course contribute your own findings if you do find anything. I know these guys are going ham right now on this and I honestly hope we find it in the next day or two because I really want a ditto. It's cool, right? It's just, it's just a cool Pokemon. Okay, so we're putting our white thinking cap on right now. We're going to be talking about all the facts that have to do and surround this whole Ditto theory. So in the code for Pokemon Go, the whole data for Ditto has been deconstructed and, um, you know, spread out in information. They've got their capture rates, their moves, all that kind of jazz. And uh, interestingly enough, Ditto, Bulbasaur, Squirtle, Charmander, and Pikachu are the only Pokemon in the whole, like, database to have a base capture rate of 0.16. So a lot of data miners and whatnot have been trying to deconstruct the code to try and find something to tie Ditto. And uh, this is what they've found so far. So here's what we have right now. We have Ditto, Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle, and Pikachu being the only Pokemon to have the same base 
capture rate at 0.16. And the thing that makes that kind of funny is that uh, all of those guys are starter Pokemon apart from Ditto. And so you know how there's the Easter egg if you run away from the starters, you get Pikachu at one point. Well, they're trying to do one of the theories where they run away from it for 20 times. Nothing's come up just yet. Okay, so the other theories on where Mew is right now is that uh, because Ditto is like that failed Mew kind of thing, that whole theory behind that is that it will spawn during a Mew event in the future. Um, it's a decent theory, but uh, I mean, we won't know. So they've also taken the Pokedex entry from the code of Ditto in Pokemon Go, and it reads out this. Ditto rearranges its cell structure to transform itself into other shapes. However, if it tries to transform itself into something by relying on its memory, this Pokemon manages to get the details wrong. So working off that, I'm not too sure what the big key is, but uh, I think the shapes thing is definitely the most interesting part. And apparently other lore from like anime and whatnot states that when Ditto is sleeping, it uh, changes its shape into a stone uh, in order to avoid being attacked. So that's led to many other theories of people trying to look for like stones in the like AR modes or whatnot um, by looking around. <sighs> not too sure how that one's working just yet. So that's what we have from the game itself, the code with Ditto surrounding all that. And then we have uh, a couple other things. So Pikachu is the only Pokemon within Pokemon Go that makes a different sound than the others when you approach it. Apparently it just sounds like Pikachu. And there's a theory going around that perhaps if you find a Pikachu that has a different noise than that, then that might be a, a Ditto transformed into a Pikachu maybe. And there's also another theory which I don't really buy into too much, and that is that Ditto is going to be a uh, South American exclusive Pokemon. So there's a couple reasons why I don't buy into that theory of it being a South American exclusive is because you can actually get regional Pokemon, I think, from 10k eggs, and uh, no one's gotten a Ditto from an egg just yet. The whole world, no one's gotten one. So that kind of draws it out right there, but we'll see, because I don't know if it's officially launched in South America just yet. Okay, there's this other Easter egg I want to show you. So this little Easter egg was found earlier today, and uh, it's kind of a weird one, and I definitely think it ties into some Easter egg, whether it be Ditto or something else. It's definitely a very interesting one. So if you go ahead and hold down the Pokeball button there, um, you can see that uh, you can see your menu and whatnot. And if, of course, you take your hand off, you can click into items, and it pops up, and it has this little, like, cyan ring around it, yeah? So, like, a go around, cyan ring around it, around the actual icons. But if you actually hold down the pokeball button and go across to these things you see that light that little color that comes off of it different colors come off these things so as you can see when i scroll under items it comes up blue shop it comes up purple pokedex it comes up red and pokemon it comes up orange now there's a couple theories around this and how you can actually use this to spawn some type of code at the moment we don't know what to really go off so i have spent about an hour today just trying random codes and whatnot because how lit would that be if just a ditto pops up and then i'm the first one to catch a ditto That'd be wicked. So the colors we're working with here are pretty weird. Blue, purple, orange, and red. Now, if you did argue that the Pokemon one that came up was actually yellow instead of orange, you could say that that's like Team Instinct, Pokedex is like Team Valor, and of course, items is Team Mystic, just to get the colors out. And then in the middle, you got purple for shop, but... Yeah, it doesn't really make sense what those colors mean or do. So anyway, using that information on the phone right there, we had those four colors. Now, like I said, those colors, they don't really relate to anything, do they? Hold that thought for a second. There was a game called Pokemon Snap back in the day. Low-key, one of the best games on Nintendo 64, just saying. Anyway, in that game, to uh, capture or, you know, well, I guess you did really capture, to take a photo of Ditto, you had to uh, try and, you know, get him away from what he originally was. And uh, in the game, he is transformed into a Bulbasaur, but he kept his eyes. And uh, the only way you could go ahead and try to get him to come back into being a Ditto was hit him with a Pester Ball. Now, I definitely got to throw credits to this uh, little subreddit thread here because uh, they've gone ahead and found out that the Pester Ball icon actually has four colors. You want to know what those four colors are? Bang, have a look. Orange, red, blue, on the outside, what's in the middle? purple. So this has led to a lot of ideas that maybe this is like a pester ball in your own Pokedex because obviously you know you bring it up with hitting that Pokeball button. Now in the code itself it doesn't note anything with pester in it. Uh, pester ball it could be renamed to something else though entirely but um, this is one big standing theory right now that somehow you have to try and use that code to unlock a, pe like a pester ball and throw it at a Bulbasaur in the wild to try and you know get him to come in to be a ditto out of all the theories i've seen on the whole thread that sounds like the most believable and uh one that i think is definitely going to hopefully be um explored a lot in the next so there's a couple other theories from the anime and how they get it to try and transform into a Dratini. And then I think a Pikachu as well when it was first introduced into the anime. Um, a lot of just, you know, speculation and whatnot. But I definitely think it's got something to do with this Pestable code thing. There's certainly something that's going to come out of this Pestable Easter egg. Uh, that's what I'm going to call it for now. Um, 
I mean, it's just it's just so uncanny that you got the four colors, which I originally would like. What do those colors even mean? But they're literally right there on the pestle. And the, the purple in the middle, that's what kind of sold it to me. Another other couple of theories are going ahead and trying to take photos of the Pokemon with your camera. Um, and they think just in general that might be another Easter egg somewhere as well. I hope we get to the bottom of this soon. And if you do have any contributions, be sure to go to the official Ditto Easter egg thread on the subreddit. I'll leave a link down below if you have any contributions that you think would help. And hopefully we can activate the community that is already trying so hard and take it that next level and see if we can find this mother fudger. Because I want me a Ditto. And I know you do too. Alright, that's enough rambling and speculation. Let's go outside. I might try and do some pestable tricks with some wild Bulbasaur's if I find any. But hopefully I inspired you guys to, you know, try and test it out yourself and see if you can find something that'll work. And if you do find it, be sure to, you know, tweet me on Twitter and say you found it and don't tell anyone and then let me get that first ditto fan. <laughs> Alright, let's go out and catch some Pokemon, eh? Okay, so this is kind of like some winter weather we got going today. It's finally cold enough to actually wear a sweatshirt or a hoodie. So yeah, I haven't got too much planned for today's episode. I want to go to the park, try out a couple of my own theories with Ditto. One theory I definitely want to try is to find a wild Bulbasaur and try to, like, don't click on the battle just yet and then try that pestable thing to see if I can, like, you know, hit that. A lot of people were saying you need to combine it with Pokestops, but that was a failed theory. So yeah, it's going to be an interesting episode. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping we'll at least catch some new Pokemon while we're out of the park. And uh, we were greeted by some little cockatoos in the tree. I don't know if you guys can see them. But, uh, yeah, well, there we go. Little cockatoo. Woo! Modern day pigeon. You guys looking for Ditto too? Yeah, let me know if you find anything. Oh, we'll go to Clefairy. So, we just rocked up to the park. I'm hoping to hunt down, like I said, that Bulbasaur. It's the Psyduck. Alrighty, so I'm not going to bother with screen recording this one. It's just a 2K egg, and uh, we're only looking for a Charmander here. That's pretty much all we want is Charmander. And it's probably going to give us a Zubat. Eh, it's a Um, that's better than a Zubat, I guess. <sighs> Alrighty, so we just got back from the park and, uh, no dice. I tried a lot of my theories with trying to catch Ditto. It didn't exactly work out, so I didn't bother recording them because they're, you know, they're, they're not the steps. But I didn't manage to find a Bulbasaur. And I feel like a Bulbasaur or a Pikachu, because a Pikachu's another one in the anime I think it transforms to, as well as a Dratini. Um, I want to try and find one of the three and try out a couple tactics with, because after the, like, the so far removed one, like, from the anime with the Eevee, you can really not expect anything that they'll put in this game. And the fact that they haven't found it means that it is very far removed, so, um, the whole Pestable could make sense at this point. Um, either way, I'm gonna go around and do a quick drive. There's two common Pokemon that I haven't caught yet on my Pokedex. Uh, Abra and Coughing. I believe they're the only two like first stage evolution ones that I haven't caught yet. So I'm gonna go out and see if I can try and find one. So no Bulbasaur's or Pikachu popped up on the Pokevision radar just yet. So in the meantime, I was having a look at my Pokemon, just seeing what I had and whatnot. And I realized that I had enough Sandshrew candy because uh, I caught one out my trip to actually evolve them. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit this guy up. I got exactly 50. I had to trade a couple in for some candies, but let's do it. Oh, I didn't do the lucky egg. Idiot. All right, that's fine though. Uh, I mean, I really just want to see what a sand slash looks like in this. I haven't seen one yet at all, so let's have a look. First sand slash. Oh, he's he's such a weird one, you know. Sand slash, like uh, he's, he's a cool one. You can't knock his game. He's definitely a cool Pokemon. He's so forgettable though when you think about it. Like, uh, but he's cool. He's a cool one. There we go. Sand slash level one thousand. Not bad at all. All right, and he's just a flat ground type if I remember. So that's a new Pokemon on the Pokedex. Yeah, I'm actually gonna go ahead and evolve this Nidoran. Um, now. I do have enough to get myself a Nido King, but I want a high level Nido King. And by going ahead and um, evolving this guy, it'll allow me to get like a. I actually don't know. I'm thinking level 700, 800 uh, Nidorino. Let's see what we get. I'm hoping 700. Alrighty, moment of truth, and it is level 737. So there we go, about midway through there. We only need a couple more of these bad boys, and we'll get a decently leveled Nido King. So that should be exciting. Okay, we've got enough candy, so we might as well go for it. We're going for our third Starmie right here. Um, I'm going to chuck in one power up before we do this, just because of the multipliers. And uh, I've got the candy. I've got a decent amount of Stardust. This could be a pretty high tier level um, Starmie. And I think the current one we've got is just under a thousand. Then of course there's Vic Starmie who's like 800. Um, I mean either way it's double XP. I'm gonna go ahead and evolve whatever the hell I can right now. But uh, let's see what we get. Oh, he's such a cool Pokemon. Starmie man. All right, here we go. What are we gonna get here for Starmie? Please, please be like a thousand two hundred at least. A thousand three hundred. Hell yes. All right, we'll take it. We will take it indeed. And this is what the squad is looking like so far. Uh, Senpai, that Snorlax, still the highest level we've got on the squad. That Starmie, actually second best. The Carpetops we got last episode, they're under third. 
Venusaur, and then a Pinsir out of all the things, and a Magneton. I don't know, it's a lit squad. We're starting to phase out a lot of the old guys like Helix God and Bro Slow, but has to be done. I'm gonna go ask the pony in my backyard and see if he's seen or heard of Ditto. Hey, buddy. Have you seen Ditto by any chance? No. You haven't, eh? We didn't have any carrots left because I normally come down with a carrot for him, but uh, if, I find a, if I find a Ditto, I'll come back with a carrot, and that's for sure. I really just want the Ditto, fam. All right, so we've got a wild Pikachu not too far away. We're gonna test all of our theories out on this guy. All right, so the Pikachu's just inside the little sucker pit. So, let's try this out for size. So here's the Pikachu. So there was one theory of like trying to use this Pokeball to try and catch it. Mm, that doesn't seem to work. All right, so let's try that Pester Ball technique. Doesn't seem to work. No. I'm just gonna catch him before he disappears. All right, I'm just gonna play it safe and catch the Pikachu, screw it. All right, level 80. This Ditto Easter Egg, it's not easy. I don't know how it's gonna work, to be honest. Um, I tried going around with it, it just doesn't seem to happen. Okay, so that was my first Pikachu I've caught. Obviously, I had that one hatched from an egg, but uh, a little disappointing. I think this is going to last a couple days, this Ditto Easter Egg. It's got something to do with that code, no doubt about it. There ain't no random colors on those things for nothing. And uh, it lining up with the Pestival, I think, probably correlates more to the Bulbasaur. So I'm going to see if there's any Bulbasaurs around, and if there is, I might try it again. Okay, so we are approaching said Bulbasaur spawn. It should be... Wait up, my map's taking a while to load up here. It should be up on this. Yeah, yeah, okay. So we might have to get out of the car and go on the other side of the road because it was in someone's house, but I'm hoping it's reachable from the outside because that would really suck. There he is, there he is, there he is. Okay, good, we got him. Okay. Okay, now we want to test out a couple of these theories, right? So, one of the theories was that each like color corresponds to a letter. D, I, no. D, I, T, T, O. I don't know, let's try, let's just battle it and get in here. Okay, so, one of the, one of the things was to just tap the hell out of Bulbasaur and see if he'll, like, get out of it. No, nothing's going on there. Camera mode, take a couple photos of it. See if you can annoy it that way. It's not working. I know what theories to test here, honestly. Um, I could try and move this guy around like that, like as if he's holding the Pokeball. I don't know, guys. I'm gonna try and run away from him. He's gone. Uh. Yeah, so I think that's, I don't, I don't know, I, I tried to do like a, a, a color, because Ditto has four letters in it, right? It's D, I, T, and O. Uh, two T's though, and we're thinking that maybe each one corresponds to a color, but I tried a couple combinations before he despawned. I don't know, it's going to be interesting to see what happens in the next couple of days as this develops, but uh, I definitely think it's got something to do with the, that, like this menu here. Whether or not it has something to do with the Bulbasaur is something to find out, but uh, it's going to be interesting couple of days. I uh, hope you guys did go on and enjoy the video. If you guys did, let me know the like button down below and hopefully we get to the bottom of this. Later guys.